What's up everyone? We just pulled in the shade right here to, to do a little bit of an update. It's been a little while, uh, actually right around February since I've, I've talked uh, in depth about the Icon boats and um, man, it's uh, it's been awesome, man. It has been really cool. A huge, uh, huge launch there at the uh, Classic Expo. Um, a lot of people came out to look at the boat, really cool. Um, obviously, Sean and uh, Sean Wieda and Wieda's Marine being a, a major dealer, and a lot of great dealers around the country, really cool. Some of my buddies like up in Thayer's Marine and, and some, some friends all around the country. Um, it's, been, it's been awesome, it really has, but I really wanted to give you guys more of a, a full rundown of this boat. You know, I, I, before, I didn't really get to talk in depth as much. We sort of talked about some things. Obviously, the number one thing you're gonna see off of the rip, and you guys have seen how big the deck is. You know, that's, uh, that's a huge deal I put. I think right now there's 16 rods on the front deck, uh, obviously with a lot of room left to, to jump up there and, and get a lot of work done. And, and, and that's something that was um, by design, you know, to have more room. I like having options. As you can tell, I have probably, I have uh, 32 rods in my rod box right now, I believe. And then I had all these rods as well. So I'm just like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm more so just trying to always um, have options. And that was a huge deal with this deck. Obviously, it's it's awesome just to to have have a big deck for for team tournaments as well as you guys have, have, have of course know it's it, in narrower boat. It's a little bit more difficult to make that right cast and whatnot. But uh, you know, diving into it, you know, when we developed this boat, going from HCB being a yacht company <clears throat> um, to the next level down, it really came down to creating a quality product. You know, a high end quality product. Um, and that is what we sort of, you know, that's what we achieved. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's obviously, it's been a work in progress to get to this point and, it, and it's awesome to bring it out um, and, and have a lot of positive uh, feedback moving forward. And some things, of course, we could change, you know? So that's, that's always a part of it, but realistically, um, really cool on that side of things. Now, looking at, at this boat, I'm gonna show you guys sort of some of the things that I really love and that I didn't get to show you in the last video. So, First thing I'm gonna show you, we did not put rod tubes down here at the end. That is the one thing that I'm like, no way, because what happens when you put rod tubes? You crack your guides, you mess up your guides. And one other thing, you don't get as many rods as you want into your rod box. It's great if you had 10 rods or whatever, but if you're trying to put more rods back there, just get some rod sleeves or rod gloves and you're good to go there. So that's that's the number one feature. I think I've had up to 41 rods, 40 rods, I believe. I think if you add more spinner rods, you don't, you're not gonna get as many, but like there's, you know, you could tell there's room for some more. I could add, definitely add a few more. And we had a stair stepping right here, um, down through here to where I basically, obviously I could just sort of put, put a level down the bottom, put a level right there, put a level, boom, sort of pop them in there and be ready to roll. And the one thing I didn't get to show you guys last time, let me open him up, is the tackle storage system. Um, before we jump into that real quick here, the one thing we did in this boat was we did not do slam latches. <clears throat> and the reason for that was we did some testing and we could not find a slam latch on the market that did not leak, that was waterproof. So therefore, we came out with the best latch that we could that we knew that was gonna be waterproof and ultimately not mess us all up. So here's a tackle storage system. Um, for me, this is real simple. Um, I have my super glue over here to my left, I'm able to sort of have all my stuff ready to roll here. I have my baits that I wanna have as of like right now, um, ready to roll towards the top. So like a jig box, crawls and, and stuff like that, you know, I have them all ready to roll. Now back up in here, this is sort of my opportunity to use storage for like, X, like I don't wanna put a lot of weight up towards the front because more weight you pour towards the front, you know, less speed you're gonna get. So I put like life jackets. This is like a Magellan, this is like a Magellan um, rain jacket, like lighter weight that I always have in, it's a signature series um, rain jacket. Um, put my hooks, I have some excess stuff. And, and the one thing that I try to do with this system, it's not completely ready to roll for the next tournament. I try to change it out every time I go to like basically um, at each tournament. So like I'll swap all the stuff out and try to repack. And then of course, you know, I have my, I have, of course have my, my hook file, um, some real oil over here, um, my pens for, for sharpening up, um, not sharpening, but like, you know, spike it, dip and die and stuff. I, you know, I just have them all right, ready to roll right there. And then of course when I want to slide this up. I have my extra tackle storage down here, down low, um, ready to roll. Now I have to repack all this stuff, but that is, 
that is what it is. This is like some of my favorite portions of this boat. So we had to move locations. I didn't want you guys to get messed up. There was a dog barking. Um, so anyway, didn't want to hear hear that the whole rest of the video. So um, over here on on the tackle storage system, you obviously um, that was something that just definitely uh, you know worked directly with Icon on and trying to get that to to where where I wanted it. You know, obviously storage systems are important. Having storage is 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 really important. Um, and then now onto my sort of day box over here to the side. I have room obviously in that center compartment. But then I also have a day box over here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I have a day box underneath the day box. I have storage as well. Underneath there, I can take it out, but um, it's underneath there. There's some top secret, top secret stuff I can't show you guys. Top secret? No, not really. Nothing really. It's just, it's just another storage, <laughs> storage in the bottom. But it is nice and neat down there. And then I'll pop over here to my right hand side um, on my box. I have some extra place to put a couple tackle boxes. I have some chatter baits. Obviously, some some line. This is some leader line uh, backup active target. Um, I have just some another reel. Um, I gotta reorganize this a little bit more, but that's that's now one thing I will say is like I suggest mounting your active target box over here inside of here because if anything ever goes wrong, like you can always get to it. You know, if there's like a pat, you know, hey, there's a power cord. If you mount it way up in front, um, and any boat for that matter, that's typically that's not what I like to do. I like to put it in there. So that is um, that's 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 definitely. Uh, a little tip right there. Now, jumping up to the front, you guys have already seen um, back target. I, I keep going back and forth on the system. I have active target two, which we've not we've not shot a video on active target two, have we? No. So we need to tell you guys to give an update on active target two. I actually have active target one down low because I was swapping out. I like to sort of know exactly which one's better, or like you know, the value of each and sort of compare. Jumping back here to the cockpit of the boat, this is. Um, this is really where you can even tell like how much quality craftsmanship went into this boat. When you look at the console itself, um, it's like any, uh, it's not unlike any other console that I've seen in the industry. And what I mean by that is it's just so stable. Everything's closed out underneath here. It's all closed out. You don't have wires hanging down, which is phenomenal. Um, in addition to that, this is just so stable, you know, and that that's huge. Like it's like, it's legit legitimately like, it's it's a it's unbelievable compared to like what I've seen you know in years past. Obviously, the acrylic, all the fit and finish of this boat is is phenomenal. That's one thing that I will put my hat on for how much um, how much time effort goes in these boats. They did a phenomenal job in working with with them to to develop that. Like the quality, man, they just whoo, knocked out of the park. Now, um, in addition to that, like having as many screens I have back here, it's just sort of a deal where. You know, you don't need to have all that so much stuff. I actually been trying to figure out if I could just do 116. I'm trying to knock down on the amount of graphs I have, and you guys have talked about. It. I've showed you that a little bit, but you can have as many. Look how many I have right here. I have three graphs. I have a 10 inches. This is 12 inches. A 16 inch. All right here. Negative to this, you will lose speed the more graphs you put on your boat. Like for instance, this graph right here, a 16 from a 12, I lose a mile and a half an hour just off of that alone up front i'd take that you put it and that's about i think majority of any boat any, anything you add to your boat you're going to add more weight which is the, you know it, it even hurts more when it's in the front of the boat but that's definitely something as well now um one question i've i've, I've had people ask me here uh more than anything is i'll actually show you guys so this system right here is super simple. It's 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 like beyond simple. Um, here's your home page. I, I got all, everything I needed right here. Um, I have my voltage. I have my my how many gallons I have. Um, this is like your home button, your icon. Um, when I pitch and I hit that, obviously music, fish, um, fishing. Okay, boom. Like right here, my live well temperature is 71 degrees. My my cranking battery is at 12.4. I am actually using an AGM. Um, my total batteries on my lithium is 39.8. Um, um, and so like everything, all my information is super simple right there. If I want to go into here and just go into all of my lighting, my courtesy lighting, all of those things, like the, I think it's like a spotlight on the front that we have. Um, all that's ready to roll, ambient lighting and like basically lighting within the boat. I can change that out by like whatever I want to do. Boom, 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 ready to roll. Um, obviously um, navigation, your nav lights right there. 
it's just super simple, super seamless. Um, go into, um, if I want, if I have some issues with like, hey, there's there's some, I want to ventilate the boat, I want to have a little bit of air go movement going through, of course we have that option within the boat as well. Um, so there's there's multiple things that, you know, just sort of like, hey, you get a little bit of some, some stuff wet in there or something happens, you're able to turn that on, boom, ready to roll. Uh, and of course, stereo system simple. I, I tried. I tried to when working with everybody here was was make this simple, make it try to make it as bulletproof as possible. But in addition to that, make it um, make it simple. Have all the information on one screen ready to roll. So that's really what they try to do with this more than anything. So if I go, like I said, the, here's your libel system. Um, the one thing that I talked about a little bit about was uh, in past videos was like the the fish iv so i have a reservoir in the back that's huge um so if i go into man i basically have my options right here i have a chill plate inside my live well and then i go into right here boom fish iv i want one ounce right there it's basically distributing one ounce of fish iv which is like g juice or keep me alive right there you heard that behind you into the live well it's ready to roll so it's a fully automated system ready to roll um and it, you know, obviously your fill star starboard your research starboard fill port, research port, um, chill, pump out, all that stuff's right here, man, auto. I, I felt like overall that is as clean as you possibly can get it. Super clean, super simple, because like this is the thing, like when you get a new boat and you have all these, you know, it's a computer screen, you're like, this needs to be as close as like to an iPhone as possible. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I thought about, like this is what you want. Like as close to an iPhone as you possibly, for me anyway, or an Android, I guess, but I'm not an Android. I mean, you might be an Android. I just, I, I think iPhone, simple, easy, home button, options, everything's right there, boom, done. Um, but we do, in addition to that, I have for all you old school um, fishermen that love to have like the, just your, your nuts and bolts. You have all your stuff right here from um, your box lights, your pump out in your live well, your live well itself. All that stuff's ready to roll to your um, navigational lights, your bilge. You, need, you have everything right here as an addition. Um, if you're just rushing and you don't want to go into here and touch these all these buttons, these 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 buttons over here and this, this panel over here allows me to so like if I'm rushing in the morning and I just want to put my nav lights on, boom, I hit that button real quick. Super simple, not too crazy, um, but it's super clean as well. One of my favorite features though, this boat, and it's like, I, I can't tell you guys how awesome this is. Is is this charger right here. I put this the charger, boom, put him on right there. He charges my phone, like no matter what case I have, no matter what phone you have, that's that was a nice feature. Now I have some USB plugs right here as well. So if you wanna charge your phone or have like a GoPro running, you can do that as well. Um, another place to put your phone right there. I put like chapstick up there or like another pair of sunglasses. Hot foot, lot of room. Um, here, I'll hop over here. So there, there is, um, you know, good, there is a sliding. Of course, you know, if you're a little shorter, you have a little more room, you want a little more room back there, you can do that, no problem. So um, sliding uh, seats, um, that's on bowl standard. In addition to that, going, jumping into the center console, um, this is sort of a mess right now, but I have my vlog camera, um, some emergency. Hey, I got some emergency. Listen, you gotta have some emergency. Listen, when things go, when things go south and you're like, man, I'm just trying to pump up the immune system, got some emergency, simple as that. A random screwdriver, flathead. I'm not exactly sure where this one came from, but that's something I need to swap out. Obviously my wallet, um, I do put my map cards in here too, like this little small like map card. So like around the country as much as we do, um, I have Navionics map cards. The only thing is like, so Navionics map cards, um, C-Maps comes with like all the map cards are already pretty much in. I think you can buy the C-Map cards as well, but the Humminbird map cards, I, I got quite a few of those. So that's all ready to roll. I need to stock up on, <laughs> look, I need to stock up on some new, some new uh, sunscreen. I got, actually have two that I need to put in there. So that's all good to go right there. Um, and of course, um, I actually have, I don't know where I put them. I just had some screen cleaner as well. So I put screen cleaner in there. 
um, a microfiber towel to wipe things down. Um, this is all sealed, ready to roll. This is all, like, this is not plastic, this is all fiberglass. The quality, also, there's a light right here, so in the morning, guess what? That light's on. You turn your lights on, you can see what you're actually grabbing out of there. That's huge. I mean, you could just tell, like, the quality craftsmanship of that. Now, we'll tell you this thing. I did mess something up right here. Look, Brody. What's that? You know what Jacob did? What happened? It's a scuff. Okay, what happened there? So, I might or might not have been at Disney, in Disney World, and Alicia's like, can you please take this, this, this car... Now, it wasn't a car seat, it was a stroller. We put it in there, and when you do that, and it rubs on your fiberglass all the way nine hours home, that's what you come out with. So, dad lies, that's my scuff from being a dad. That's what it is. But I wouldn't trade them for the world, I'm just telling y'all, that's what that's from. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to get that fixed as well. Now, um, right here, we'll say this. That lot, this, well, this cooler is, is huge. I mean, look at that. It's, it's at, and it's fully insulated as well. Again, look at this ultimately, this is like a craftsmanship. It's all, you know, fit and finish is phenomenal. Same color as obviously my boat, but I mean, it lasts, ice in there lasts a long time. It does. And so that's something that, you know, Another thing that adds, you know, in addition to that boat, like a lot of times, you know, you get a boat, drop in tubs, ice lasts for very minimal amount of time in that it, it lasts a, a pretty long time, probably double at least. One thing that I did have, uh, you know, worked with the team there at Icon and trying to figure out a game plan of how to um, make it easier if you had an issue with your grass or wiring. Um, was utilizing this console area where you never really can get into there because this is closed off. And you can still access it right here, but um, it is closed off down there to where you don't have all your wires hanging, which is clean, I mean, which is nice. That's like a premium, a nice fit and finish. Um, we did make it to where you could open up with a beautiful hinge system um, to, your, to your console. Um, now in here, I have some extra storage, of course, I have some bass boat saver with, uh, um, with of course, a microfiber towel, extra microfiber towels. Um, in addition to that, some Sharpies, some white swim jigs, some airborne. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> and then pulling that out, being able to get your wiring. Uh, that was that was really the whole intent of this is being able to get back in there to wiring be able to make sure everything's fit you know put together well um, that's that was the sort of the game plan on that guy that worked out well I don't want to make sure that's it for the front of this bow um, first thing you're gonna look into this level system um, it's fully automated it's it's um, I mean the whole intent of this was to conserve our resource and, and obviously the fish. Um, a lot of tournaments, you know, we're trying to keep the fish alive. With that being said, with this system, everything is 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 sort of, was created obviously to keep them alive as well as you possibly could. Um, there are sensors in this live well that when you have them full, um, that you can see even right up top here, this all seals off right here, um, all around, around in this in this portion right here where they can't really come up and hit their head and then what thing the goal of that is is when those fish when that water comes down to a certain point that sensor will kick on and it'll fill up to the top of this lid where there's not a lot of sloshing around where you're not you know that that fish is not hitting up against um, anything inside the live well in addition to that right here we had a uh, padded little latch system to where like it's not a sharp edge everything has a rounded edge um, that was something that, that was really the intent of just trying to keep that is, is nice and, and, and well, let's see here. We really wanted to keep that to where it was, it was fish friendly, obviously. That was the intent of the, that libel. There were some things that uh, I've seen throughout the past that I'm like, hey, like, we could probably do better. And that was sort of the goal with that. Um, in addition to that, you can see this little plate right here, okay? This is the chill plate. 
this comes as, a, as is another option. You can get this or you can't, you know, you don't have to. Um, the L2 Live system, there's there's other options within there you can get. You can get the you can get the um, the chill plate and, and the compressor and all that stuff, and then you can get, you know, the, the fish IV, you can get all or you can get it separately. So um, that, but the one thing that you're gonna get with that, and I'll and I'll talk on this real quick, the compressor, it is not <clears throat> what it's not. Um, and with a chill plate, it's not um, going to chill your water down um, from 100 degrees to 70 degrees in two hours. The goal of the chill plate is to have a system in, what, in, in place. And what I mean by that is, so when I start the morning off, fill my live wells up, or I go to my first spot and I catch one, fill my live well up, I put that fish in that box, water 88 degrees. Um, that chill plate, I turn the chill plate on, I turn my live walls on, I put it on research, and then I allow for that chill plate to chill the live well, and it'll chill it down about a couple degrees in an hour, a few degrees an hour, and two to five degrees, depending on the conditions, what I, it is really what it is, two to four, it, I've seen it in that range. So, that being said, if your water is 85 and you chill it down to 70, you know, by the, by the time it's sunny and, and, and warm, that's really the goal of keeping that water temperature below. Um, when the fish come out of deeper water, the water temperature is cooler down below. Also, not shocking those fish and dro dropping the water temperature drastically it, it is a good thing as well. So, that was sort of the intent with that. It is not going to chill your water down in 10 minutes. So let's just put it that way. <laughs> that's what I wanted to explain. Um, jumping over here to my to that as well, storage, uh, of course, toolbox, some some uh, some chops, um, some more some more snacks. I have my tools in here as well. Like, like what I do a lot of times is like I'll take the tools. This is not exact, but I'll take tools of like everything that I have in the boat, um, like. So from batteries to every little screw and everything, and I'll put it in something like, I'll, I'll basically take it out of a tool, tool kit like this, which I have this in addition, but and put it in a little like Plano guide series deal like this, like waterproof, put it in here. And then I'm able to always be ready, no matter what's happening in this boat, I have everything that I need to ultimately, because I know what every screw and, and nut and all that stuff. So. That's something that takes a little time on the front end, but it, it pays in the back end because you don't have to take a giant tool set to just take care of a handful of jobs. Um, a first aid kit, got one of those. Of course, a prop, um, another first aid kit. And then I don't even know, this guy might have been an addition. I don't know exactly what that one was. So the one thing that you're gonna see right here though is that this compressor is fairly large. So you will lose space in your storage system having this compressor here. Um, but you have so much more space around the boat that it's not like it's a, a huge ordeal. And that's sort of like, that's one thing that's really nice about it. Um, so I'm putting that right there, lock him up. All right, so I forgot one thing I'm gonna show you guys in the front real quick here. Um, up top, of course, you do have quite a bit of room right here to jump in. That's just sort of nice to have that or sight fish and all that stuff. But in addition, we have, of course, some, some buttons, um, a panel right here, of course, trim up and down your nav, and then of course your, your live wall. So you can sort of pop that on when you're wanting to do that. Um, and that just really comes down to your Bluetooth system. Um, and then of course some USB, so if you wanna have some opportunity to charge your GoPros and all that stuff. You got it all ready to, ready, ready to roll. In addition to that, sorry bros over here, there's another USB right here. So you wanna bring your iPhone charger in my boat? I'm charging my phone over there. You can. All right, so one thing that Martin had to get figured out on my boat was this is obviously the back of the boat and, and the actual plug in the boat. So this is to close the live well. So this close down here. This is in and out on your actual plug on your back of your boat. Oh, and it, sorry, in addition to that, you have a 12 volt deal there as well. So if you don't have enough USBs and all that good stuff, you can just plug in there. So ready to roll. Back here, I always suggest doing this. Now let me slide him up a little bit. 
Um, I try to put a decent amount of tackle back here too. So I have a full um, lineup of tackle back here from all my baits and just random stuff that I have. Uh, combination of this and that, but uh, I try to put a decent amount of tackle back there. Also, we have to leave a little bit of room for our officials at MLF to put some of their stuff as well. So I don't try to like jam it pat full of tackle, but put a little bit of tackle back here. Typically when you're like, when you're setting up your boat uh, and you want to get a little bit more speed, you put more of your weight in the back of the boat than you put in the front. Um, if you can put your heavier stuff, so like jigs and plastics and stuff like that, I can put some of that stuff back here where I leave some of the lighter stuff up there, like crankbaits and whatnot. So jumping further back to the very, very back of this boat, let me open up both um, the battery compartment. So one thing that I have been playing around with is I have been playing around with my battery setup. Last couple of years, I have been running three um, 12 volt, 12 volt Miller Tech batteries, okay? Now this year, I swapped from 312s to 236s right here. In addition, I have another 36 back over in here for a backup 36. So I have three, a total of three 36s. These are all 60 amp hour batteries. Um, so there you go, do the math. You got 180 amp hours of battery, which is very good when you need it. Um, in addition to that, I have a ba I have room for another backup. So I can technically have four 36s in there if need be. All right, so jumping in over on this side, I have two Odysseys um, in there, and then I have a backup actually, 12 volt Miller Tech in addition to that. I'm, I'm a battery man. You guys gotta leave me alone. Um, I have a uh, powerful charge. I have a C-Clear power harness in there as well. And uh, so that for me is just like having an additional amount of safety. Um, if something were to die, um, like it's not gonna cost me uh, that, well, not going to, it just it's just repetition and making sure that you have backups and stuff. So that was something that for me, that's not recommended for everyone. I'll tell you that, you don't need 100 batteries back there, but just in a turn of situation, that's been helpful very many times. And so that's, um, that's cool. So yeah, I mean, as far as the actual boat and it's running, I'm gonna do a video on speed and sort of um, some of the things that this boat does well um, uh, later on. But I wanted to give you guys more of a run through of this, you know, the video and just sort of sit down and, and talk about it, you know? Um, one thing that I know, uh, I've seen several people out there, I wanted to, to talk about was, hey, um, obviously I know this is a high-end boat and, um, you know, obviously go to your dealer, get a quote if you're looking for, 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 for a boat. Um, I, they're all, you know, different. But in addition to that, I, um, I just wanted to let you guys know down the road, there are some exciting things coming for everybody. This is a long-term um, company. This icon is going to be around for a long time. And, and I'm excited to bring out uh, new things coming down the pipeline. So look for that. Thank you guys so much for following along on this video. And we will see you guys on the next one.